Hey, it's Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown, and it's Monday. It's time to start a new series. Uh, this week, I have a question for you. Are you wiser than God? You know, many times people come to me, and, and they, they will give excuses of why they have not given their life to Christ or why they have not given certain parts of their lives to Christ even after they're saved. And um, th they tell me it's because I, I have to reason this out. I have to figure this out. And that's the problem. See, the Bible tells us that God's ways are higher than our ways. God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So that if we think we can think like God or we can understand like God, uh, who do we think we are? He's supernatural. We're not. And so he operates in the supernatural. And so the only way we can really start to discern and understand spiritual things is by doing what he says. I always use this illustration. You know, you, the first thing you do is you take knowledge, okay? And, and the Bible talks about knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And in the world, most of the time, the way people think is, first, if I can just get the knowledge. So we t send our kids to school, and, and they get the knowledge, okay? Then they want to get a job, but they can't really get a job until they understand the knowledge that they've got. Let's say it's in uh, uh, engineering, See, they have to know calculus, and they have to know all that, and they have to be able to reason out in their head so they understand calculus, so now they can apply it to this new job that they got. That's not the way it works in, in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, again, God is supernatural. The kingdom of God is supernatural, so it's beyond you and I. So the way it works here is first we take the knowledge, which is the word of God, and then we apply it to our lives. That is the wisdom of God. See, for instance, love your enemies. That doesn't make sense in the natural. How can I love my enemies? I mean, you, do you know what they did to me? But the Bible tells us to love our enemies. In fact, we're to forgive the unforgivable. If we don't, then God can't forgive us. That makes no sense in the natural. I have rights. But in the kingdom of God, that's exactly the way it is. So what he does is he gives us his word, and he says, now be obedient to the word. Do my word. And once you do my word, then I'll reveal or give you understanding of how that word functions. So in other words, maybe somebody you have, or used to be friends with, you're not friends anymore because they did something to you that was bad, and so you, you can't forgive them. Well, if you'll just forgive them, then God's able to forgive you and all of his principles will kick in gear and probably somehow, some miraculous way, that relationship will be restored. Now I can just tell you, from personal experience, that's happened to me. So the first thing we do, again, is get the knowledge which comes from the word of God and then we apply the wisdom and the wisdom is do what God tells us to do. That's all you need to do. Be obedient to God and, and God's word. And then he gives you revelation to that word or revel, um, understanding. Don't do it the other way. Don't think that you can first get knowledge and then get understanding to it and then you'll uh, use wisdom. No, it's the other way around. So here in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 25, it says, At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things um, from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. Isn't that amazing? That God would keep things from the wise and the prudent? Why? Because... Again, he's talking about two different wisdoms here. There's the wisdom of the world, which the Bible tells us in James chapter 3, that that kind of wisdom is earthly, sensual, and demonic. But the wisdom of God, which comes from above, is pure and noble and, and, and um, uh, loving and all that kind of stuff. It's a completely different kind of wisdom. So here, what this is saying, Jesus says that God has kept the hidden things from those who are into themselves, self-centered, you know, proud, and all that, and has revealed them to babes. Okay, that's part of being a humble child of God. We're going to pick this up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.